see. Now, one of the things I want to go into, if you click on this little body right here, everybody seen this? This has been all over the news. I want to comment on this for just a moment. Um, this is what we call the Atacama humanoid. Um, first of all, I don't know what it is. Every scientist has looked at it and says, oh my God, it looks like an alien. Well, perhaps. We don't know. It's a mystery. It's an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in something amazing. It may be something prosaic, but I don't believe so. And here's why. If you put up the Lockman report, I don't know, this keeps coming down. Uh, Dr. Ralph Lockman at Stanford University, who's the number one expert in the world on skeletal dysplasias, which means skeletal abnormalities and genetic syndromes, examined, he actually, we went to Barcelona where this little being is stored. We took exact x-rays that he requested from Stanford and brought them back, hand carried them back as well as on a computerized disk, which is now on our website. You can see it. He looked at it, and he said, well, first of all, there is no form of dwarfism or genetic defect that explains everything it's seen in this being. It has, oh, the Lockman report's not up there either. Um, I don't know, we're having technical difficulties. But uh, what you'll also see is that he says it has 10 ribs. No human has ever lived with 10 ribs. What he didn't notice, but I will point it out to you, it has four skull bones rather than the six major ones we have. It's symmetrical. And the epiphyseal plates, if you look at the x-ray, which is the growth plates. You know when you have you know, the growth plates in a kid and they, they hurt their leg? The growth plates and the bone density is that of a six to eight-year-old. All right, now call me crazy, but I'm just a doctor. But I can tell you, I've taken care of a lot of children that are six and eight year olds. I've never seen one six inches tall. This is six inches, 13 centimeters. What six to eight year old can live to be only six inches tall? Number one. Number two, how did it live? It was found in the driest place on earth, the Atacama Desert in Chile, northern Chile. It is estimated to be in, in many decades and probably hundreds of years old. There was no neonatal intensive care unit in Chile at that time. There may not be now. And even at the best neonatal intensive care unit in the world today, you could not keep this person, for lack of a better word, alive. So the question becomes, what is it? All right. The other thing he states is that since it doesn't conform to any known uh, form of dwarfism, it could very possibly be a type of progeria, which is when you have a, a very advanced aging process. But he seriously doubted it. Now, fast forward to some of the early work. Now, this has been misinterpreted in the internet, unfortunately, not only uh, on the Huffington Post, um, but also in, in a number of other minor uh, news outlets about the genetic report. I want to be very careful. I, and if I bore you for about five minutes, I apologize in advance. But this needs to be said. You need a quick course in science. Number one, keep this number in mind. A Neanderthal is 99.5% genetically identical to everyone in this room. OK, a chimpanzee and a, the great apes, 96 to 97 or more percent identical genetically. This being has a big match to human genome, but it's an upright creature with a very large cranial vault, three times the size of our cranial vault from the eyes up. So we would expect a lot of the operative genes, it was, if it was in this 3D dimension, and it's a humanoid, to have some match. What's unusual, although nothing can be concluded yet from it, is that 9% of the genetic material is, quote, unmatching. Now, this is on a computerized run at the best lab in the world, out of Stanford, and, the, and it was checked three times. 9%. Now, is that all computer read error? Maybe. Is it all what's called DNA junk? Perhaps. We don't know. 
it's going to take years to go through what the computer kicked out into the trash can of unmatched DNA to figure out what is in there. Dr. Nolan, the Stanford head of the team, doesn't know. I don't know. Neither does uh, the, the folks writing at the Huffington Post. They don't know. What we know is this. It's going to take years, and, uh, at least, and per, if we're lucky, a year or two, to go through that because it's two million base pairs of genetic material unmatched. Now, if you were dealing with uh, my DNA or yours, and you had a lot of un unmatching, you just leave it alone because we know we're just humans. And it's just like, well, it was a computer error or it's this or that. But when you have something that looks like that, it keeps disappearing off the screen, I apologize. It, it, uh, what you have is something that cannot just be tossed away because so far, and this is something I want you to listen to extremely carefully, the genes that control for progeria, advanced aging, or dwarfism are showing no mutations. This is a six inch, six to eight year old. Get it? Those, why isn't there something in there? So this is still a mystery. Now, once the geneticists say, said, well, you know, there's a lot of matching, 99% is matching to human, and, and said it, well, human, use the word human, the media that aren't well versed in genetic research said, oh, well, case closed. Case is just starting. It has just begun. And I can tell you that it may be years before we get an answer on this. And the other thing that's come to light is that there may be more of these. And the scientific team at Stanford and others have said if there's more than one, it is sort of case closed, that it can't just be a one-off mutation. There's something very strange going on. We're on the lead to one that may exist and have been found in Puerto Rico. There are reports that there are more of these that are in uh, Chile. And th we have videotapes and photographs of a creature that looks very similar to this one that was a little more mature, maybe less than a foot tall, that was uh, found in Russia, uh, was kept alive for a number of, of months apparently, and died in the, in the captivity of a rather eccentric woman. I found out about it in 1996, but too late. The FSB, which took the place of the KGB, had apparently confiscated it by then. My point in saying all this is that we have to do expeditions to the Atacamba. We have to do probably a year or two or three of research. And I'll remind people that the Human Genome Project cost billions of dollars and took 10 years and thousands of scientists. We're just going into something that's basically an unknown. So we have to be very careful. I'm not saying it's ET. I'm saying we don't know. But looking at the big clinical picture, it just cannot just be a normal defected human if it lived to be six to eight years of age and is only six inches tall. Moreover, and this gets into a little more controversial information, but hey, why not? I'm as well in, in for a dime and for a dollar. There have been teams of people who have gone into that area after they uh, identified this. Um, who met with native peoples who said, you know, there have been more of these that have been seen, and we've seen them alive running around. We've also seen luminous, sort of trans-dimensional, if you will, energy forms that look like basically like eggs or circular objects that have come down into the foothills of the Andes. And so there's a great deal of research that has to be done. Uh, I, an expedition to do this properly would cost probably 10 times what it costs to do this documentary. And we, if somebody wants to underwrite that, I'll be there with bells on. The point is, there's a great deal of mysterious information around this. And we have to be very careful to proclaim it one thing or another. People are proclaiming it ET. I'm saying we don't know quite what it is. Other people are saying, ah, we solved the mystery because it has so much human DNA in it. No, we're not saying that either because there's still this 9% unmatched, which could be everything from computer read error to junk DNA to where the mystery of how this thing existed. So I just want to have all of you keep that in mind and bring you up to date on that. 